What's up guys? I hope you all are having a great day today, just full of so much positivity and happiness, dude, because we are once again going to be talking about the latest, greatest, and most important gaming news coming out of everyone's favorite PlayStation first party developer. That of course being the creator of The Last of Us Part 2, none other than Naughty Dog. <laughs> Now, Naughty Dog has been in the news for various reasons lately. First, they had a bunch of layoffs at their studios, which was rumored to be the multiplayer portion of The Last of Us Part Two. that over three years later and going on four has still not released at this point. Then on top of that, they came out and announced The Last of Us Part Two Remastered. I gotta watch it back. Hold on, we gotta watch it again. I don't know what happened. Bro, I can't, I cannot believe this game is real, bro. Bro, I cannot believe this game is real, bro. I waited so long for this. I can't believe this shit is real, bro. I can't believe this shit is real. And if you know anything about that particular release, you know what a complete and total joke it is, especially considering the fact that God of War Ragnarok just released basically an identical update to the one coming in The Last of Us Part 2 Remastered with the Valhalla update. And the important thing is, is even at the Game Awards, like Jeff Keighley pointed out that they're giving it away for free because they actually love their fans, unlike Naughty Dog, who is charging basically $10 for the exact same update that the God of War development team just pushed out. So, you know, Neil Cuckman will never deny an opportunity to get some more money out of this fucking franchise at this point, though. So, it's no surprise that yet again we have another piece of amazing news coming out of Naughty Dog, and that is the fact that we are getting, finally, an update on the promised multiplayer for The Last of Us Online. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and read through this release because, you know, it's, it's definitely interesting. So, we'll get through this, and then I have a lot of things I wanna talk about in regards to this. So, we realize many of you have been anticipating news around the project that we've been calling The Last of Us Online. Actually, it's been called Last of Us Factions. There's no easy way to say this. We've made Made the incredibly difficult decision to stop development on that game. We know this news will be tough for many, especially our dedicated Last of Us Factions community, who have been following our multiplayer ambitions ardently. We are equally crushed at the studio as we were looking forward to putting it in your hands. We wanted to share with you some background of how we came to this decision. The multiplayer team has been in pre-production with the game since we were working on The Last of Us Part 2, crafting an experience we felt was unique and had tremendous potential. As the multiplayer team iterated on their concept for The Last of Us Online during this time, their vision crystallized, the gameplay got more refined and satisfying, and we were enthusiastic about the direction in which we were headed. In ramping up to full production, the massive scope of our ambition became clear. To release and support The Last of Us Online, we'd have to put all of our studio resources behind supporting post-launch content for years to come, severely impacting development on future single-player games. So we had two paths in front of us, become a solely live service game studio, or continue to focus on single-player narrative games that have defined Naughty Dog's heritage. We are immensely proud of everyone at the studio that touched this project. The learnings and investments in technology from this game will carry into how we develop our projects and will be invaluable in the direction that we are headed as a studio. We have more than one ambitious, brand new single player game that we're working on here at Naughty Dog, and we cannot wait to share more about what comes next when we're ready. Until then, we're incredibly
incredibly thankful to our community for your support throughout the years. And I think it's interesting too, because at the bottom, they didn't even put like signed by Neil Cuckman or anything like that, or studio management. It's just probably some generic statement they plugged into chat GPT or some shit like that. And you know, it shit it out. So here it is, man. The multiplayer mode for The Last of Us Part 2 that was promised before the game even came out is now being canceled. What a shocker. I mean, this seems like par for the course for Sony lately, bro. They have just been imploding when it comes to their first party studios because, you know, we've seen the whole management shakeup over at PlayStation. First, Jim Ryan got fired or as the fanboys like to say, stepping down, whatever you want to call it. Jim Ryan is out because Sony leadership was not happy with the direction he was taking the platform. I believe when it came to how he fumbled the Activision Blizzard acquisition by Microsoft and Court, and on top of that, this heavy focus he had on live service games, as well as that woman, Connie Booth, she got fired from PlayStation as well, which, you know, according to reports, she was the one under Jim Ryan who was spearheading the initiative to get all of PlayStation's first party studios working on these live service titles. Now that we have someone from actual Sony Japan taking over as the interim CEO of PlayStation, he's basically coming out and saying, yeah, we're putting a bunch of these live service titles on the back burner. Only a few are going to come out. And from what we've been hearing is they're refocusing efforts on those single player experiences. So this really does line up with all of the other events that have been unfolding at PlayStation and kind of this implosion of the current regime over there and business strategy and the shift to live services just being a complete and utter failure for Sony. And we're even hearing reports now that if Bungie's the final shape for Destiny 2 doesn't play out the way Sony's anticipating, Sony is actually going to step in and take full control of Bungie and refocus their efforts there. So I don't know, man. It's a very interesting scenario at PlayStation. And to top that all off, like look at what we have on the horizon for PlayStation. I mean, the only game we really know for concrete fact is coming out somewhere in the future is Marvel's Wolverine from Insomniac. And once again, Insomniac is the only studio at PlayStation that seems like they're actually able to consistently release video games. So aside from that and Marathon, which isn't even exclusive, there's not really much coming out from the PlayStation first party studios that we can actually point to and be like, yeah, this is coming out soon. We have a release window and we know what this game is going to be like. Like, sure, we've seen a bunch of logo flashes, but those are all those live service games that are kind of like the remnants of the Jim Ryan period at PlayStation. So this does kind of line up with all those events and the massive leadership shakeup and overall just implosion of the PlayStation first party strategy that we've seen play out recently. So this isn't really surprising. I mean, I don't really think it's surprising considering the fact that it's what over three years after The Last of Us Part 2 came out and we're still waiting for this because I mean, this is Naughty Dog. Naughty Dog has pretty consistently in the past released multiplayer modes with their games. Uncharted 2, 3, and Last of Us 1 all launched with multiplayer there, ready to be played when the game released. So it's not like this studio is completely unable to pump out a multiplayer game mode. So there was obviously something very wrong. Either that or they lost a lot of key talent that had done that aspect of their games in the past. And it's probably the reason why we saw so many contractors fired from Naughty Dog lately is because they probably no longer had the in-house talent to work on multiplayer. So they had to outsource it to a bunch of contractors. And well, I guess something went horribly wrong during the development process, resulting in all of those people getting fired and the multiplayer mode inevitably getting canned and the remnants or playable version of it or whatever was left being rolled into The Last of Us Part 2 remastered in the form of that roguelike survival mode. And I think that is the lasting legacy of The Last of Us Part 2's multiplayer. I think that mode in particular probably would have been an aspect of the online portion of that game, but instead of just releasing the online portion of the game, they decided, hey, we'll bundle this with The Last of Us Part 2 Remaster, so, you know, it's not all in vain, I guess, and charge 10 bucks for it. So, pretty interesting overall, man, but there are a couple areas I do want to focus on here. Like I mentioned, Naughty Dog is not a studio that has not worked on multiplayer and single player simultaneously. Them acting like they have to go one way or the other in working on single player or multiplayer games is fucking stupid. They could easily manage both and that's just a massive fucking cop out. So I don't know, man. That to me is just, I would say probably the biggest lie in all of this, which, you know, a AAA game studio lying in the press release. Big fucking shock. But yeah, that's a 
massive fucking over-exaggeration. They would not have to choose one or the other. They've managed it in the past, putting out multiplayer content and single-player content simultaneously, while at the same time having a much smaller development window in between games. So that is complete and total bullshit coming straight out of the mouth of Neil Cuckman or whatever fucking chat GPT-like program they use to type this shit out. So that set off my bullshit alert majorly. And then on top of that, they mentioned that they have more than one ambitious brand new single player game that they're working on, which, you know, that doesn't really line up with the fact because it's like, okay, well, if you've been working on The Last of Us Part 2's multiplayer and you can only work on one or the other, what do you mean you've been working on multiple games at the same time? So that's where the narrative also kind of falls apart. But I don't know, guys, this is not really a great sign for the health of Naughty Dog as a whole or, you know, PlayStation at this point. I really do think that PlayStation has a first party lineup problem. They're starting to look like Microsoft did a couple of years ago. And, you know, if I'm going to call out Microsoft for having jack shit to fucking play coming out of their first party studios, I'm definitely going to do the same with Sony. And, and it's once again proof that Nintendo seems to be the only motherfucker around who seems to know what the fuck they're doing when it comes to consistently releasing and managing their first party studios and first party games lineup. So overall, man, not a great look for PlayStation. And I'm not saying the PlayStation brand is dying or anything. Obviously, that'd be fucking stupid. The PlayStation is doing incredibly well right now. It is absolutely dominating in the video game market when it comes to console sales. So that's not what I'm getting at here. I'm just talking about there seems to be an overall problem with management of the first party studios and setting priorities and meeting deadlines and things of that nature, or just having a consistent release schedule of video games coming out of their first party studios. But I don't know, guys. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comment section below. Are you happy, sad, or you just don't give a fuck that this got canceled? So personally, I could not be bothered to give a single shit about The Last of Us Part 2 at this point, but you know, it is what it is, and it is kind of interesting to talk about. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like on it. I would greatly appreciate it. And with that shit said, I will catch you guys next time.